Hey, Psych2Goers. Do you want some subtle tips and tricks that can make you appear more attractive? Sometimes the strangest things can draw us to someone, and there are quite a few habits that can make someone drawn to you. Here are five easy habits that make you instantly more attractive. Number one, show your androgynous side. A 1983 study published in Administrative Science Quarterly found that those who have a mix of feminine and masculine qualities were perceived as more attractive by their test subjects. The study states, the results indicated that androgynous persons were favorably perceived on the gender-linked dimensions of instrumentality and expressivity. And in sex-neutral desirable traits, they were regarded as better adjusted, more likable, and as having an advantage in the occupational domain compared to masculine and feminine persons. The Encyclopedia Britannica explains that in psychology, androgyny refers to individuals with strong personality traits associated with both sexes, combining toughness and gentleness, assertiveness and nurturing behavior as called for by the situation. So any androgynous traits, features or styles can be helpful when you're out on a date with your crush. Number two, be around your group of friends at first. Ever heard of the cheerleader effect? This is when people perceive others as more attractive when they're in a group. A 2013 study published in the journal Psychological Science tested this theory and their results supported the cheerleader effect. The authors state, individual faces will seem more attractive when presented in a group because they will appear more similar to the average group face, which is more attractive than group members' individual faces. We tested this hypothesis in five experiments in which subjects rated the attractiveness of faces presented, either alone or in a group with the same gender. Our results were consistent with the cheerleader effect. So if you're at a party, it might be a good idea to catch your crush's attention first when you're with your group of friends. Then when you're alone, let them know you're approachable by displaying some open body language, a smile, and those flirty eyes. Number three, work on your emotional intelligence. One habit you can work on, improving your EQ. Emotional intelligence is all about communicating and managing your emotions in an effective way. Emotionally intelligent people often have an easier time understanding their emotions and reflecting on them before simply acting on them out of instinct or habit. They take a moment before responding strongly due to a sudden emotion or feeling during a heated discussion or intense conversation. They also reflect on their feelings in a calm and productive way. This helps them make healthy decisions and communicate better with those around them and themselves. This can help you appear more confident, less insecure, and less defensive, which can be very attractive to others. Make it a habit to reflect more and pause and think before you respond or react to your emotions. It's not only likely to be an attractive quality to others, but can help you in the long run emotionally anyway. Number four, Listen with the intent to really understand the other person. How often do you actually listen to what the other person is saying with an intention to understand them? Are you just waiting for your turn to speak again? Certified positive psychology life coach, Karen Austin explained in her Psychology Today article that research shows that only about 10% of us listen effectively. She also explains that active listening is an essential skill and one of the best ways to connect with another person. The good news is that it's a skill that can be improved with some effort. It also bears noting that there's a distinct difference between hearing and listening. Hearing is a psychological act. Listening involves your ability to unpack the meaning of words and the silence in between. Think about it. Would you be more attracted to someone who understood you and let you speak or someone who only focused on their points with no care to understand or respond thoughtfully to yours? It's not to say that you'd want someone who only listens and never has an opinion of theirs to say. Remember, you have to listen to them as well. Thoughtful and active listening is something that can be practiced, a habit that can be formed, and it's an attractive one at that. And number five, Introduce yourself and talk to someone new often. How often do you approach someone who intrigues you? Do you try to get to know new people at your friend's party or do you shy away from it? Having the confidence and sometimes courage to approach someone new is something that is often admired. The more you break out of your comfort zone and introduce yourself to new people, 
Striking up conversations with those you find interesting, the more you'll get used to it. Then you may just be a bit more confident in your approach towards meeting new people. You may not only make a new friend in the process of doing so, but also appear more confident and attractive to them because of your boldness, as long as they're comfortable with you continuing to talk to them as well. Approaching someone and being unafraid to strike up a new conversation with them not only makes you appear confident, but with due time, you may start improving your confidence and comfortability with new people as well. So make it a habit to talk to those you want to talk to. They may just find your confidence admirable or attractive. So which of these tips will you try? Feel free to let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a true friend. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.